Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa Fisher and I today am going to get rid of some scraps. I'm right in the middle of two big projects and I just decided I've got this in my scrap drawer, all of this, and I need to work some of it because this is too much. Too much, I say. Too much. So, uh, and then I went through my chipboard. Oh, that's just piece. I went through my chipboard and got all the little pieces out um, that uh, that I thought would be useful or, uh, you know, yeah, or something that I didn't think I'd use. But I'm going to make little notebooks. Now, these will be great for, like, uh, Mother's Day coming up. It'll be, you know, something that you can do very quickly and we can, uh, you know, make all different sizes, whatever you got, whatever your, your, your needs are. So just come along with me, kind of a craft with me, I guess. I don't know, but um, I'm just going to choose one and I think this might be a good size. And let's see, I think I have two of them already. So that's perfect. They're cut just right. So I got these two and then I just need something that's small enough. Now you do want to make sure that your chipboard is the same size just for, you know, for it to be useful. Um, the same thickness, I should say. So I'm going to take these off to the side. But now you can use these, you know, any size you want. So I am going to make a mark on this piece of chipboard to first get it at the right size. Where's my pencil? I put everything away. I did my housekeeping after I finished up my last big project, which was the the uh, box with the file folders for um, organizing in your craft room, your cards and things like that. So if you guys think you'd be interested in that, you can uh, look that up. Uh, let's see. Now I need my chipboard cutter. And you know what? I think I'm just going to cut it. Let's see. Let's just try and keep this as simple as we can. Let's just make a line all the way across. And let's just cut this puppy. Voila! But I don't want it this thick. I like it this big, but I don't want it this thick. Because it's got to be something nice that you can keep in your purse. And we're going to put a closure on it so that it, it will keep everything in it. But I think this is a good size. But I'm going to basically cut this in half. So I'm going to measure it out on my grid. Let's see. So I'm just kind of centering it in between two of the, the, the lines here, just kind of eyeballing it uh, up and down and putting it across the bottom. So I'm laying it square on one of the lines this way and then centering it between uh, the two line marks here so I can find my center, you know, thereabouts. And then I'm going to use my chipboard and I'm going to cut, draw myself a line. Bam! Easy peasy. And then this means that I will have another piece to do another one with. Because I plan on making quite a few of these. And I actually think that I might give them out at my church. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, they would also be great for... Uh, Oh, what do you call those things? Craft fairs, uh, gifts to give to the people at work, you know, because they're quick and easy and they're utilizing stuff that you really want to get rid of. So, you know, it's it's already stuff you've utilized once. So you've gotten your, mo your money's worth <laughs> out of it. Let's see. I just got a little... We're going to put that one back in our... Okay. So now... I've got what's going to make a nice little book. 
And let's see, this is, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five and three quarters by three and a quarter. So if you wanted to know that, and then this is seven eighths by five and three quarters. Yeah. Okay. So five and three quarters by three and a quarter, and then seven eighths by five and three quarters. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm just going to look through and see what I have that I want to put in, on as a cover. Let's see what I got here. I've got, now that wouldn't work. It's not, um, let's see. That would actually do fine for the inside. I need some larger pieces, please. And I could do like solids, although I don't, I don't have too much that is going to be, where's my larger pieces? Too much is going to be this one. I do have this rose paper, which would work that way and kind of work that way. Or, no, that one's not big enough. Uh, or I have this paper, which would work that way as well as the other. I don't know. I think I'm going to try doing it with the rose paper. And we're just going to center it best we can leaving ourselves oh yeah yeah we'll be able to do this okay so i am just going to see where i can what i can do here that is going to be about even leaving myself a, a eighth to a quarter or uh of an inch, you know, um, in between the front and back cover and the spine. So I think that looks good. Now, I think what I'm going to do is use my ATG with a little bit of glue. And for some reason, this is a little gross on the end there. So I'm just going to get myself some nice strips across here. And then I will put some glue down. And I'm going to do that on all of them. There we go. This is a nice thicker piece of paper. Um, so it will be able to take glue pretty well. Oh, am I working? Yep, 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 yep. There we go. I haven't used that sucker in a long time. It's probably happy to see me using it. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to take some of my Scotch Quick Dry because I am trying to use this up. Uh, I, I have really gone over towards using the, um, oh, ooh, and that's one reason, is this gives you so much glue through this tip now that I am used to using the, uh, art glitter glue with that tiny tip. This really, <laughs> okay. So now I kind of know where I want to stick this and I'm just going to stick it down. You all know how to do this, but I will go through the whole process with you and I'm going to just leave that for a second and keep going, get this down and then I'm going to flip it over and that'll give the glue a little bit of time because this, this glue, this Scotch quick dry glue is a quick dry glue, but boy, not not compared to the, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. the art glitter glue. The art glitter glue is much, much uh, more quick. There we go. And last one. 
So I hope everybody has been staying safe and staying inside. I know I've been getting a lot more crafty time, but I also have a lot cleaner house. <laughs> I'm getting a little cabin fever, though. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you guys, but yeah, I, I think um, I think once they lift this curfew that the economy might pop back up just because everybody's going to be so sick and tired of sitting at home that they're all going to go shopping <laughs> oh and i am i am trying to figure out my next big project that i'm going to do and i haven't figured it out just yet so i thought well you know while i work on this i will just keep myself thinking in my mind what else what what's next I have a million things I want to do. I just don't know which which one's taking priority in my in my little pea brain here. Okay, so we've got that on super easy. Now we're just gonna start the paper bend a little bit. Just a quick and easy cover here. We're going to go ahead and. Cut some corner off so we don't have quite so much bulk, leaving yourself a good bit of the paper so that you can um, uh, fold it over the edge. So at least an eighth of an inch that is going to fold over the edge so you can cover all of that. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, keep that housekeeping going while you're crafting and try and keep everything... Uh, now, since this is so short, I'm just running my fingers along there again. Since this is so short, I am going to take some of my quarter inch score tape, find the end here, and I'm going to put it down on the paper, and it is tight. And maybe I'll use my eighth of an inch. Come here, baby. Where are you? Come to mama. Come to mama. There we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, when we get to the paperwork, uh, the pap papers that are going to go in here, um, and I'm going to make it where once you fill it up, now I could use a quarter inch, which I will. I'm going to use a quarter inch on the sides. And since the sides go down last, it will also help maintain these corners with the shorter piece yeah 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 we got it we're cooking with gas now ladies and gentlemen okay just slide that in there slide this in here so you can make these covers quick quick almost done all right we're gonna burnish don't forget the little stuff because that little stuff is what's important because this is going to be, you know, mainly sticking in somebody's purse and you don't want it getting torn apart real easily. All right. Now I am, I actually am going to use this because I need a finer line of glue. I always like to put some glue on the edge of the chipboard uh, because I want that to be be a nice edge on the book when it's folded so it looks more finished and neat and tidy and pretty so i just put right on the edge i mean, i'm literally putting it on the outside edge of the chipboard not the top of the chipboard the side of the chipboard and then we're going to take off the cover for our glue, I mean our, uh, boy the words are just not coming to me today. <laughs> and then I'm just going to fold it over and all the way down. And I normally don't do it that way, but because it's so short, yeah. That needed quite a bit of burnishing because the glue and the... That's another reason I don't really like using glue and score tape because I think the glue takes away some of that score tape power. 
So, but there we go. I think this one, I'm just going to leave the glue off. Oh, and while you have the glue and it's wet, you will run your flat edge of your bone folder. It will work with just about anything. You could use the edge of a ruler as long as it's not going to be sharp and um, uh, poke a hole or anything or, or rub it. There we go. All right, so that's drying. Let's go ahead and take this one off. This is actually even a little smaller, so I'm going to leave the glue off. And let's just fold this over. Eh, I'll just pull it. Okay, now let's burnish that down. And I'm giving it a little wiggle and not pushing hard because I don't want to rip my paper. But I'm putting a little wiggle in where it's going to be creasing. And you could just rub in there a little bit with your tools just to help kind of break those fibers up a little bit so that we're ready for our next step. Now this one I am going to put, because I've got plenty of room, before I bring my corners over, I stick a little bit of glue on those corners because how many of you have gone through doing your your book and then that corner pops out of the book you know off off the one side or something because most people don't glue them in they just bend them over and then glue the rest of it but I think it should be glued to help it maintain what you're trying to get it to do and now I put glue including on the top of that so that when it folds over it actually is glued down as well and then I'm just putting it again on the outer edge of the chipboard and then I'm putting just a little bit of glue in between my score tape and the top because uh, I didn't get it all the way to the top. And then we're just going to fold that over and bring it down. And then we're going to burnish and push down on those corners and give it a little rub, which I think I forgot to do this side I don't remember which side it was so I'm going to do this side as well there we go ah it's coming along beautifully beautifully I'm going to go ahead and take this off I'm going to put the glue in my corner there we go and now I'm just going to bring my tool around bring my tool around and get those corners folded in on themselves over the edge of that chipboard I almost didn't leave myself enough room on this side but I did okay so now I'm gonna put a little glue on top of that paper that I just folded over And I got a little bit of an edge here. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on that. Okay, and then we're just going to pull this over. And I actually am putting quite a bit of uh, force to pull that around. And get that burnished down. Because just because these are scraps doesn't mean that you don't want it to be nice. All right. Oop. Put the scotch, scotch quick dry back. Okay. And then we're just going to give it a little bit of fold. Just a little bit of fold right there. I've got a little glue on that. Excuse me. Okay. So there's that one. And then a little bit of fold on this one. Yeah, 
there we go ta-da oh and isn't that a cute size i think that's really cute size okay all right so now um what size papers am i going to want to use what am i going to use as my inside cover okay so I, i've also got some vellum pieces and some copy paper pieces uh i've got some index cards some book pages got a little bit of everything in here these are some uh some um four by six cards i guess i finished the book up except for that some envelopes you know just a lot of stuff just a lot of stuff that's cute since it's got the roses that might be cute to uh put there and then would that do the rest of it no it's not gonna be long enough well let's see and this is just some paper with some stamping on it that i did um that's really pretty what about that i could do that all the way across catch everything sounds good to me okay so i'm just going to mark on this where i want it and i'm going to go ahead and cut excuse me momentarily yeah i am so ready to start being able to go out and do some shopping and this and that but i am also enjoying hanging out hanging out and getting stuff done here all right so this piece is just so you have an idea seven and three-fourths by five and three-fourths and it does have this bend in it i'm just going to try and take out some of that do a little bit on both sides try and flatten that out just so it's a little neater and that does make it quite a bit neater because there was that fold was in it all right i see i have a pencil mark to erase but other than that we're good to go uh eraser right here right here all right now this is thin paper so i'm going to use my art glitter glue and you want to make sure that you're going to get those corners sitting down well so make sure you've got some glue goes out to those all the way to that corner i just kind of carry my line right into the corner and then we're going to do this oh and i forgot you still want to help out my glue is going to dry you still want to help out right here at the edge so that you don't get buckling right on the edge of both the inside of the um of your spine and the uh both outsides of the spine and the uh bordering piece right there now let's get that a little burnish pull it off come on come on my glue's drying that's when it really doesn't work is when you're in a hurry one two nope all right be that way i'll go over here and i'll teach you a lesson or two whoops sorry and this one okay i don't have a top or a bottom to this and we're just going to put the paper down and hopefully i've still got some good glue in there 
and I want to run this in there a little bit run this in there a little bit and then smooth it out and I might have waited a little bit yep see that's not even gonna not even gonna stick <clears throat> waited too long but that's okay we just put more on there make sure you're getting it on the edge Here we go, here we go, not a problem, and there we go. Voila! And this side seemed to have gotten down just this little edge right here. Just want to make sure you got good glue coverage. You don't want this coat popping up. Don't want it popping up. There we go. All right. Then we're just going to give it a little bit of a bend. And now we have our cover done. Yay. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is poke a hole in the top and the bottom uh, 3 16 and I want to get it as close to the edge as I can without so I'm just let's see how far I'm gonna get this away and are you centered let me see are you centered? There we go. And cut. Alright, so there's the first one. You can see where the little hole is right there. And I have my little guard set up here. Oh, there it is. Set up right here, this little guard right here. So I'll put my next one right up against the lever and so it'll be in exactly the same spot. And I'm going to put it this way so I can see that I've got it square in the center and then squeeze. All right. And then I'm going to use a couple eyelets. And let's see what I got here. How about a couple of green eyelets and I need the 3 16 so let's see what we got here um how about the dark green are those two the same yes they are I love eyelets love them I got out of using them for a long time because sometimes these little eyelet machines are so hard to get you know to get them right so I'm gonna pop this in there but I just move forward and do it we're just doing it a lot of times the problem is is that the stock on the eyelet is too long for what you're putting it down on so they do make shorter stems I guess on an eyelet in uh in you know in some cases okay squeeze but they work really nicely on chipboard they just do because it's thick enough that it it has some place to go when you squeeze in it there we go beautiful all right so now that part's done now we're just going to pull papers together see if one of these I could cut that down a little bit it has to fit in between these two marks so um, I'm not going to keep you on while I pull my papers together real quick but from the center of this mark to the center of this mark is five and a quarter and if you go edge to edge it's five inches from the edge of the hole 
So you don't want your paper much larger than like five inches. And this is five inches. So that's what I'm going to use. It does need to be a little shorter, but I'm just going to find one piece that I can use as a, as a uh, template. See where I want to cut this. Make a mark. Cut her off at the mark. Now, I can find all my different papers, and as long as they're not larger than this, they're going to go ahead and be in there. So I'll put one of these in there. Um, I've got, let's see, I've got some pieces that I can cut down. See, that's got one thing cut out of it. This is pretty. So basically, it's like making a journal, um, and I'm just going to mark up where I want things to cut and then I'll go and cut at one time. Now I saved all these from my calendar and I need to cut, Let's see where's my, I can move my book and I've got my papers. So if I cut it right, let's get this straight. If I cut it right here, I've got a pencil mark on this as well. So I'll cut that right there and then I'll cut it across where it needs to get cut and that's how big it'll be. So just go through your scraps and figure out what you got. Um, some of them are going to be large enough to, uh, to do whole pieces and some of them, like these are some of the six by six that I did for my frame. So I'll probably take one of those and stick in there. And I have I have all of these squares that I did. And I, I just thought, you know what, let's keep them for this. And then I will probably toss them, what I don't use. So I will probably do some patchwork on some of these. But I plan on doing these until everything is gone. So um, that's that's the story and I'm sticking to it. I also made a bunch of copies that got screwed up. I didn't look and it printed. I thought I was printing a whole page. It didn't. It printed that. So I am going to like cut these in half and use them um, as just paper to go in there because I got 24 of these puppies. Oh yeah I did. Yeah I did. And then I've got some others that you know, got sucked through and only did half a one and things like that. So all of these are going to get used as well. So I will come back once I pull all my papers together and show you what we're going to do next. So you come back now or well, for you, it'll be just a second. Bye. Okay. I'm going to show you another real easy, simple one. So I've got a couple of pieces that are, you know, just scrappy pieces. Now this one is not as big as this one, but, uh, width wise, but that doesn't matter. Oh, that thing just drives me nuts. Um, so uh, on the little piece, um, we're going to do, let's see. Yeah. And it doesn't matter that the hole is in there. Uh, doesn't matter at all. Let's see. I got another piece here that doesn't have a hole in it. We'll do that. Is this the same thickness? Let me just double check. Yes, it is. And okay. So this is going to be the size of my notepad like this. So I need to cut a bottom piece and this is not wide enough or tall enough. Okay. So let me find one. And it doesn't matter what color you use, just as long as you can. Yeah, so this will work this way. So we're just keeping this simple. So I am going to, while I have this lined up, run a mark across here because that's I'm going to cut this little tidbit off. I'm going to leave myself at least a thickness. So if you want to do this at least a thickness and then 
you can put this piece here and we're going to mark right where I want to cut that. I can't, I can't, I don't have enough fingers. I need an octopus. I need an octopus. I do. Okay. All right. And again, I'm just going to use my scissors. Just trying to keep down the time. And just to make it easy, easy peasy. Just trying to use up all of these little scraps I've got. There we go. If we didn't get it all just right. Yeah, that is definitely not right right there. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Okay, I don't know why I did that over my work surface, but anyway. So now we have this piece, and we have our cover with our little bit of overhang. Now I need to cut this. Let's see. Let's just get a actually something that you know is perfectly straight where I don't know what I did with my little ruler. I've lost it. There it is. I slid my um, my board up so I knew I wouldn't get out of camera line. Let's see here. Let me line that up. Oops. Then I let it move. Get it lined up and start and then I let it move. All right. So now I'm going to just cut this down. There we go. Yay! Okay. So don't throw that piece away. We need this piece. Okay, so now let's just double check that everything's going to fit nicely. Yep, that's good. And then this is going to fit on here nicely. Yep, and then we've got our nice eighth of an inch there. Okay, so uh, now you're going to cover these individually. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I have covered this first part. This is the back, the longest piece. And I've covered it and put just a piece of book page uh, on the inside of this one. And then I'm utilizing just, this is just a little piece of copy paper that I had printed out and never used. So um, I thought I would just show you. I did pick, take a little piece of Tyvek and put it across where the gusset is going to be or or the you know the the space between the two chipboards so that it's just a little stronger because it is just a piece of copy paper uh, it'll help it keep from from ripping so now because i want this piece in the spot that's going to make these two pieces the same height i am going to line the bottom of this piece up with the bottom of the piece I'm trying to cover and I'm going to draw a line on my paper and that is where we will put of course center it side to side but that is where we will put this piece and we will have the nice opening here and again I will show you how all of this is going to work and it's not going to be a, a funky thing um, I'm going to go ahead and add a half an inch uh, from this line over and cut so that we don't have that extra bit of paper and I'm going to measure over a half an inch from the edge of the chipboard and cut so we don't have all that excess paper. So let me get that done. Okay. 
And I'm, I'm just eyeballing it. Just enough to be able to, to cover everything. All right. So, darlings, now we're going to go ahead and glue this down. Okay. And again, uh, one thing you can do, now I've, I've turned it upside down because I'm going to be placing it on this line. If I want to see what's going to be best for you guys, if I want to make sure I'm getting it side to side correctly, place it on the line and against my ruler. And there we go. Now, in just a little bit, because I need it to be, there we go. Okay. And then we're just going to fold it over, wrap, uh, you know, wrap it up like a normal, uh, like you normally would your books. Um, you could even, because this is so thin, um, which is, I think is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to fold over my corners. And then you're just going to and this is another way that you could do um, your books, but only because this is such a thin paper just I mean just absolutely regular copy paper um, are you really able to do this type of closure because I mean um, corners because if you did this with um, cardstock or thicker scrapbook paper it would just make the corners so thick that it wasn't even funny so uh, yeah we're just going to do this because I think it'll help add just a little bit more strength. Just because it is a little piece of copy paper. All right. Now we're going to just get our folds going. There we go. And basically, this is almost like doing a, um, a present. I'm going to go ahead and do the long sides first. And I am going to put glue around the edge here. Even underneath a little bit so that those get sealed up properly. And just pull it over. Give it a little bit of burnish in the middle so that you get a little bit of of excess paper right in there but don't push hard because you will rip it because it's wet with glue make sure you've got that pulled nicely and then give it just a little bit of burnish right there but just be careful because this is just copy paper okay I'm going to put a little bit of burnish on there. And pull it over to the side. Sorry, all that banging. Knocking around and banging and such. And I am going to squeeze a little bit of glue underneath there so that it does have something to grab hold of all right and then let's just do this side and just do that and you'll see that it, it makes some fairly nice makes some fairly nice um edges on it they're, they're not they're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but 
you still want them to look nice. All right. Let's give that a little burnish. Get a nice edge on there. Be careful about going over the part that doesn't have any paper, any um, chipboard behind it. All right. Okay, and now we're going to need um, another piece of paper that's going to go on the back side of this. And it's definitely going to be something that you're going to want to get into this uh, into this little space here between the two. So, um, how would this look? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. It's better than some, most of the other stuff I have. I don't think this is wide enough. Nope. And I, I, I truly, before I left, I got rid of a lot of my scraps. So I do not have a ton of scraps. So, you know, this, this, this works much nicer. I like this one better. Okay. So I am going to not cut off this end just yet. Because I'm going to work it a little bit before I cut it. And I'm going to go ahead and make a mark and get this cut. And I'll show you what I mean by working it. Okay. So I'm going to place this here on the top where I would want it to be glued down. And I have it going on both sides where I want it. And I am going to take my bone folder and I am going to work it into this angle. Now I'm holding this side of my paper, the top side of my paper, very hard so it does not move. I'm allowing this side to move. But I need this to be in side of that piece absolutely connected inside that piece. So you do not want to do this until this has dried or you may rip your paper. But because I have the Tyvek, I'm, I'm doing fine with it. But so now I have this nice groove in here. So now I can lay this down and that the groove has been taken up. Make sure you're pushing it down in there. Let's get it back down in there. Now I can push this down onto my book and find out where I want it cut. So I'm not going to have it so short because I took an eighth of an inch or whatever to get it down into my groove. All right, so I'm going to cut that off. And I am going to get an eighth of an inch of score tape. You don't have to do this part if you do not want to, but I am going to put the score tape down in the center between the two pieces. There we go. Give it a little burnish. Good job. Take it off. Yeah, pencil's not going to work here. <laughs> I left my scissors out in the other room because I was cutting out things last night and I didn't bring them back in here. So I don't have the tools I am normally used to doing. So now I'm going to lay this where I want this to be. Make sure it's left and right in, in the space. And I'm just going to push this into that score tape. Wham. Now I can glue this down just where I need it to be. Just give me a little glue there. Thank you. Thank you little glue bottle. <laughs> Love my little glue bottle. 
So one more time, I'm going to push that in there, and then I'm just going to fold this over and push it down. All right, and the same thing with this. If you can get some glue down in that spot down there, just just for for laughs and giggles. Okay, so again, I'm going to start with pushing this down in here and then folding that down. There you go. Now we have a nice workable hinge. I'm not going to do too much more than that until I get that dry, but that's a nice workable hinge for this kind of uh book that we're making and now we have two equal sides for our little notebook okay uh, I think you can see where I'm going here I'm going to make all the papers and they can be just a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch shorter this way and um uh, same with this so whatever your height and and um weight your height and weight please whatever your height and width is just cut it down what whatever makes you happy eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch and just get single sheets of paper then we're going to place this down on top of all our papers and we're going to punch holes using big daddy if you don't have big daddy this is Big Daddy. <laughs> there, that's Big Daddy. It'll cut through just about anything. If you don't have the Big Daddy, if you have a Zutter cutter, or um, and if not, uh, if you just have the We Are Memories Keepers or holes, you can totally use even a um, pokey tool and make your holes. It won't be as easy. It won't be as precise. Um, and I will also uh, probably put eyelets. So there'll be two eyelets in the back and two eyelets in the front. Not absolutely necessary, but yeah. And then I think on this one, I will do ribbon. So I will come back and I will show you both. I have gathered my papers for this one. I kept all the little cuttings for pockets and things. Um, and I have 15 papers to fold up. So there'll be shirt, th shirty, there'll be shirty feats in here. <laughs> 30 sheets. Wow. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> 